Okay, I'm back in Wanda's house, everybody. Was it the second drawer? I know, looking through, I've been editing. I can see this pickup, and I don't know, why didn't I pick up the knife? <gasps> okay, I've got the knife. But I can't take it. <laughs> okay, so all I can do is look at it. So, at the end of the day, that wasn't worth anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm still gonna have to go get a tool somewhere to get to that drawer up there. Okay, I'm back in the, the house of the church, and here's the storage room. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> uh, I know I picked up this. Oh, I keep doing that. I picked up this key ages ago. You think I would have checked here, but for some reason I didn't. There you go. All this time all this time but thank you thank you so much for your patience <laughs> okay Scott's things okay let's get a picture of that nope of course it's locked hmm Have I, by any chance, got... Sorry. Do you think maybe, perhaps, this one? I know it's marked drawer, but... Okay. Let's close this door. Can we, uh, get that on, do you think? Oh, good. Okay, well, there's a toolbox. What's in it? Oh, pick up an old fashioned Slim Jim. You beauty! Absolutely fantastic. What is he doing with it? Hmm? <laughs> Anything else? We can actually take. I wonder would that help the, the drawer? We will try the cars first because. Um, Hopefully it won't be just one car we can open and then a break or anything. Is there anything else in here that's worth looking at? And how long before we find the key to open this thing? I can't we can't open this one. Hmm. So where do I find the key for here? Do you reckon there is another uh secret place other than the safe? Or is that just I'm going back upstairs to look. A loose floorboard, perhaps. Lock at two. Should we try the Slim Jim? Okay. It was worth a shot, right? Okay, I'm going straight for this car. I passed one out already. But uh, I just want to go straight for this one because this is the first one I noticed with stuff in it here and hopefully that's going to be of use to me um i guess we try the unlock function and the slim gym all right and let's see we keep our slim gym excellent <gasps> okay good stuff Ooh, oh, Steve Moss. <gasps> oh, now we're getting interesting. And before I start, welcome to any new subscribers. I think I went over 200 just there uh, as of recording. I think I'm on 201. So it's, it's nice to see some new people joining. Don't be afraid to say hi. <laughs> March 13th, 1997 to Private Investigator. Steve Moss. I wasn't even looking at that. It was P.I.'s private investigator. I came across your name through a close friend of mine. She highly recommended you, saying you are a person of integrity and a very reliable investigator. So I would like for you to investigate the case. And he was murdered. <laughs> well, that's my idea. I think he's still stuck in the room above. Uh, for you to investigate the case, which happened in 1995. This was March 13, 1997. In a town called Paints Creek, of the murder of Vivian Roberts. 
I was there when it happened. The body had been placed in front of the mansion. Oh, placed in front of the mansion gates for everyone to see. A few days later, Scott Brooks was apprehended as a suspect. However, there wasn't enough evidence and he was soon released. 18 months later, the police filed Vivian's case as unsolved. I've tried to forget everything, but I just can't. I simply want to know the truth. I've enclosed a copy of the threat letter that Vivian received the day she died. Oh, I hope it helps. Wow, this is taking a big, big turn. For safety purposes, I would like to remain anonymous at this time. I will give you the first payment in good faith that you will agree to my offer. When the case is solved, I will pass you the rest of the payment. Sincerely anonymous. Oh, man. I'm presuming I'm going to keep that letter. Oh, I am. Yeah, okay. I didn't mean to. Uh, I meant to stay there. Because there's more. Oh, I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come alone. Oh, man. I presume it's... Oh. I presume it's the well near the, the shack. The cabin. I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come alone. Mm. Derek is a typewriter. It's the only typewriter we've seen. So far. Interesting. What else we got? What else we got? We got we got something here. We got a pickup. Ooh, private investigator. Why would he leave his license in the car? Because he never left. This is interesting. I, I presume we can turn it around and everything. Oh, that's so cool. Let's get a shot of it, though. What else you got, Steve? Is that a notebook? Can we pick it up as well? <gasps> we can read it. Is that his name in the front? It is. Wow. Oh, we can read it. Oh. Oh, this is something else. 26th of March, 1997. The investigation progress is slow. I've tried to reach people, but many of them have left Paints Creek. And those who still remain are starting to move out. I found some evidence showing that things aren't what they seem. The media didn't have it right. I need to interview some people who worked at the mansion. I've been too wary and haven't reached out yet. Matthew seems to be Scott's legal parent. Still won't talk to him yet. I'll have to visit St. Patrick's Orphanage tomorrow. It's a day's drive from here. I know Scott found something there. Something not quite right with all of this. Oh, do you reckon Scott hid it in the toolbox and whatever it is, the Scott's things that we just saw? 30th of March, 97. Vivian married Charles in 1971. After the marriage, she became vice president of the Roberts Mining Company. It went into a slump after to the mining accident uh, in 73 but her resilience to not give up led to her rebuilding the company from the ground up she supported local businesses such as the Paints Creek Community Hospital to revitalize the small village looks like she was publicly very active too active she was taken to the Paints Creek Community Hospital for an emergency operation in 1974 Trisha Roberts was born just before that. What was the operation then? Hmm. And there's a 17 in one of the operation rooms. Remember that. It's in operation room 3 or something. 3A. Uh, and there's a 17 on the calendar that Trisha and, and, um, and Scott met in September as far as I remember. And there's the 1 and the 7 on the chess pieces. 
Vivian was hospitalized for a few for, for, for a few months. She was reliant on Dr. Henry Johnson during that period. Hmm. For what? <gasps> Security room zero two five two four one mansion. Ah, oh, nice one. Nice. This is brilliant. What else you got? Oh! Sophia! The secret lies with her. Is that Sophia? Is this the mannequin psycho wielding knife lady? <laughs> Jewel blade! Hmm. Really? She looks so... I don't know. Unassuming. Who are you? The secret lies with her. Seriously. Hmm. Family resemblance, perhaps, with the Roberts? What else? Well, see, there was loads in this guy's car. Got that, got that, got that, and got that. What else you got? Oh, it's locked. Can we, can we try to slim Jim on it? Do you reckon? It's worth a shot, right? <laughs> okay, so there's more. There's more to be found. Well, this is very interesting. I guess we open it, just in case there's anything, oops, on the other side. Don't think so. I guess I'm going to go and look at the other cars. If I find anything in them, I'll include it. If not, I'll, I'll just cut it out. I'm back in Wanda's, and I'm going to try the Slim Jim. Slim Jim. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay, so we're gonna have to get something else. There's a diary. Who knows what else? I know I surmised at one point that this may have been Trisha's typewriter, but why not Derek's? I mean, his father was estranged. Maybe he was trying to get in contact with him. Or maybe he was in contact with him. But it's the only typewriter we've seen. Paper's different. But that doesn't mean anything. Typewriter. Having one doesn't mean he, he's the one either. We're back at the mansion. And we're going to use that code. Oh. 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 Strange looking security room. Hmm. Where did you get that code from? That's interesting. There's no thing coming up for open or unlock. Can we get a bit closer there? No, nothing. Very interesting. <gasps> Keys. No way. We've got Trish's key. Let's just look at that. Key found in the master security room inside the key cabinet. It's Trish's. Trish is the first one after the Slim Jim. Nanny's room? Tea room? Tea room. Yeah, we're going for the tea room next. Uh, yeah, definitely. Wow. Okay. And then the nanny's room. I don't even know where, which one's the nanny's room. Oh, wasn't Dorothy the, the nanny? I can't remember. I think, yeah, Dorothy's the nanny. 
security desk logbook. Oh. March 18th, 1994. Someone ran through the garden last night. A man about five foot five wearing a hooded sweater climbed the fence wall into the garden. He proceeded to run to the backyard and jumped over the back wall. March 25th, 1994. A new stack of VHS tapes has arrived. Please use the new tapes instead of recording over existing ones. Oh, for security. Is that what the box is in Wanda's? <gasps> mm, April 6th, 1994. I came across a note by Magdalene Roberts stuck between one of the old logbooks. It was requesting the search of a missing security tape tape dated June 28th, 1975. Really? How far back does videotape go? Security tape from 75. Seriously? Seems the tape was never found. What did she want it for? May 28th, 1994. We have a new security guard coming in today. His name is Samuel Green. Tom Parker will be his mentor to get him up to speed. So Tom Parker was the security. So that's Thomas. Don't tell Mrs. Roberts about the missing case of Da Vinci Wine, right? So now we know who Thomas is. He was the security guy. July 4th, 1994, Andrew came to the mansion at around 11pm. He was very drunk. Scott was called. He arrived around 11.15 and brought Andrew home. August 12th, 1994. Today marks Tom Parker's 20th year since he started work at the mansion. He will be retiring from his position next month to take care of his ailing wife. November 2nd, 1994. There's a strange tale going around Paints Creek recently. Stephanie, a six-year-old girl, got lost during Halloween. Apparently she followed some fireflies in the woods and could not get back home. Her parents called the sheriff. They conducted a search but could not find her. Two hours later, Stephanie got home safe and sound. When asked how she found her way back, Stephanie said a young lady found her crying and brought her back. She didn't know the lady's name, but remembered her being pretty and having long black hair. She was wearing a black dress, similar to what the mansion maids wear at work. The strange thing is that when I asked around, all the maids said they were working that evening. Okay, well that's obviously Sophia. So that's Sophia in the photograph. I must admit, she looks better in the photograph. <laughs> she doesn't have, she hasn't held up too well. <laughs> no, I'm thinking plastic surgery, perhaps. You know, the way they all look, end up looking like mannequins after plastic surgery. Mmm... <laughs> This is great. All these drawers and nothing in them. They're time wasters. Better be something in this one. Nope. Okay, well I'm down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okie dokie. Ooh. Read. Ooh. Employee information. Bernard Hopkins. This is the butler. Oh, 31 Silver Lake Boulevard, Paints Creek. Okay. Do we have his key? Where did I get this? I still haven't looked back over the videos. This, where did I get that address for Derek being 40 Black Pine Road? Bernard Hopkins. Mail. November 15th, 1944. Uh, Okay, he's, he's, he'd be old enough then. Um, regular employee butler. Okay, I'll go ahead. That answers it. Staff and house management. Eight hours, five days. Date hired, 73. So he's with them a while. <gasps> cool. 
Ooh, Derek Tyler. Well, Derek's very handsome. Hmm. Wait a minute. Trisha couldn't go for that guy, but could go for... No offense, Scott, but... Mm. <laughs> uh, May 3rd, 1970. 43. It is. 43, where did I get the 40 from? I'm looking back at my notes, and beside... I have it down from... From the sheriff's note on, when, on the funeral, where they said, you know, Bernard was the butler, Dorothy was the head servant... Derek was the chauffeur and Wanda was his mother with, uh, who was cancer and about uh, Dorothy having to take the child out and it would be Trisha because she was distraught and I have down written beside it and it came from somewhere else chauffeur 40 Black Pine Road and yet there we go 43 Silver Lake Boulevard same as the mother hmm 1990 Eight hours, five days. Ooh, that's Wanda. Well, I must admit, Wanda, you look a bit like, um, who's that girl? She's often in, um, oh, she's often in films and I can't think, my mind's just gone blank. I can't think. Oh, drat, I hate that. It'll come to me. Come to me, Helen uh, Bonham Carter, or something like that. I'm, I'm sorry for butchering your name. Bonham is it Bonham Carter, or something? Oh, anyway, very nice. She looks good. It's obviously an old photograph. No, she was young enough, wasn't she? When she popped her clogs, it's terrible. <laughs> sorry, 43. No, she would have been 43, 53, 63, 70. No, she was only, she was only 30. 43 seems like so long ago. <laughs> We're dealing with the 90s, so it's, it's, that's what? That's long ago. That's Anyway. Uh, due to sickness, she will stop working until she recovers. So they expect that she'd come back. Should I be taking photographs of these? I think I should. Let me go back. Same photograph, same photograph, I tell you. <laughs> it's a great photograph. <laughs> wow. Handy working, hard working and trusted by Vivian Roberts. In other words, just read the subtext basically. Read in between that, no one else trusts him. <laughs> Why does she trust him? That's the thing. Uh, he looks, he looks. Look, compared to that and that, even, I mean, that guy's older than him. He looks rough. Yeah, a drink will do that to you. Dorothy. Dorothy. There's a photograph next to another, someone else. Hmm. Longest hired employee of the Roberts family. She almost looks like family. She looks like she could be the sister. Patterson. She has got the key to Gibson's. Yeah. She's got the key to Gibson's photography photo lab and she's only across the hall and I think we have her key. She lives in 40 Black Pine Road. It is Dorothy's house. How did I, why did I write it down next to? I wrote it to the wrong person's name. And I don't even know where we got that information from. No, we don't need to worry about that. I'm just making a note to change that. She is the nanny. Excellent. I have a feeling... Okay, maybe that's just a picture of her next to the child. But do you think maybe she could be a member of the family? Could be related? Oh. Oh. That's interesting. She previously worked at the Moon Cafe. But there's still waiting a photo. Why does Mary Martinez not have a photo? Right. Ooh, 10 Town Center. Drive, Paints Creek. Hmm. We're going to be taking a visit to your house, see can we get in. Very interesting. Did I take a pic? Oh. Whoops. 
What have I done? Can I not get the camera? How come I can't get the camera? Okay, I can get the camera. Not sure. Ow! Oh! Not sure if I took a photograph of you. And then... Okay. Interesting. This is good stuff! Getting to know you. Oh! <gasps> Amber Skull. <laughs> can we pop it in? There's no way. 75. There's no way tapes like this. I mean, surely they would have been... I know you had to have something for TV, but they'd not have been bigger and bulkier. I don't know. No way. I mean, VHS. Oh, wow, look at all these monitors. We can't look at any of them. Well, now, see, that would hin hinder an investigation, surely. Not being able to look at these tapes. But from 75? Seriously? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know anything about the history of VHS tapes or videotapes or whatever you want to call them. But surely, did they go to back that far? Maybe they do. See, I'm from Ireland, so... <laughs> I don't know. Is that clock working? Mm hmm? I don't see it moving. Hmm. I keep turning the light off. Dorothy, you're up first. As far as I remember, this is your room from the... Oops. The, uh, the map. This is Dorothy's key. The nanny. <gasps> oh, I got the shivers. I got the shivers. Why did I get the shivers going through here? You gotta trust your... You gotta trust your gut. You gotta trust your gut. Sometimes it's... That's your only guy being a... A, a private investigator type... In, investigative reporter. <laughs> Janet. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Guess we're not opening in any of those ones. It's just a shine on the end of the bed. Let's go down. Don't see anything down there. Ooh, big trunk. I never get into any of these big trunks. But we got a diary. We got a diary. Oh. Oh, November, oh, wow, we're going way back. November 20th, 1972. There's a newly hired maid, oh, ho, 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 ho. there's a newly hired maid named Sophia. I think Matthew recommended her. Oh, saying that she's his cousin. She's very pretty. Was it Mary Martinez? Didn't think so. And has very good manners. She's a quick learner, too, and does whatever she's told to do. She's very eager, asking a lot of what she should do. How she should act when Charles and Vivian are present. How to be perfect at her job. I like her already. March 10th, 1973. The guys delivering food to the mansion were gawking at Sophia. As if they've never seen a pretty girl before. I had to ask Sophia to go back into the house, otherwise someone might have funny ideas. Her uniform needs a little more cover. June 20th, 1973. Matthew sometimes comes over and checks to see if Sophia is doing okay. I tell him he's worrying too much, that Sophia is loved by all. Matthew seems pleased every time I say this. If I didn't know better, I think that Matthew liked her. Hmm. September 24th, 1973. It rained heavily today. Sophia and I were having our tea break when she asked me, what does it feel to be loved? 
I said, well, it's like the feeling you get when you are with your parents. She was quiet for a moment. And then she replied, it's hard for me to imagine because I don't have parents. I didn't know what to say to her at that time. But after the break was over, I decided to make effort to care for her more. No more. What's going on, Matthew, and these wayward children, hmm? And notice she just refers to him as Matthew as well. Hmm. When did he become pastor? So very interesting stuff, folks. Oh, 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 what we got? What we got? We got a letter. January 31st, 1996. Dear Charles. Charles? Who's Charles again? Oh, Charles Roberts. I have worked here for more than 20 years. And I'm so glad that I was able to spend time here with everyone. I greatly appreciate the opportunities you gave me and the time I spent with Trisha. Trisha was everything to me. And she loved me. She smiled whenever I called her. Oh, there's just tear stains on it, isn't there? I wish I could have given her more. more. Despite what has happened here in Paints Creek, there are moments of pure joy that we've all shared together. I will hold on to these memories. I'm sorry that I'm leaving and won't be able to serve you anymore. Thank you for everything. Please take care of yourself. Sincerely, Dorothy. Trisha was everything to me. This is after Trisha died. Trisha died in 95 too, didn't she? Wow, man, this is tough stuff. Oh, that's recorded as well. We didn't need to... Okay. There's a lot involved in this. Ooh, another diary. Oh. Dorothy Patterson. Don't see any keys around yet. Maybe in her home. September 23rd, 1994. I can't believe that Andrew tried to kill himself again. Thank God for Scott. I cannot imagine what would have happened if Scott wasn't there to save him. Andrew was never like this when Laura and Daniel were here. Even even as his wife, I doubt Laura has any idea why Andrew turned out this way. I can't blame her for leaving him and taking their son. I wonder if they've contacted each other since then. Why does Andrew mention seeing Sophia? Does Sophia die? October 10th, 1994. I visited Andrew at the hospital today. He seemed different. He looked calm, as if he had somehow managed to find peace within himself. The attending nurse said Scott has been here almost every day, taking care of him and being with him. Andrew has been taking a lot, or talking a lot with Scott. Andrew told me he's already... He's ready to see Laura and Daniel again. I'm glad to hear that. I should call Laura and tell her the good news. February 13th, 1995. Scott came to fix my leaking sink today. He did a wonderful job. I offered him tea and we talked quite a bit, mostly about Charles and Vivian. I showed him my old photo album. To my surprise, Scott became very quiet. He asked me if he could borrow one of the photographs. I don't see why not. He thanked me and left in a hurry. Oh, I should call Laura and tell her about Andrew's situation. June 19th, 1995. It's ironic that Andrew died shortly after being saved. I met Laura and Daniel at Andrew's funeral today. Daniel reminded me of Andrew. I can't believe he's already 15 years old. Last time I saw him, he was only seven. Laura said Andrew had been sending 
the money these last few years. She had been considering to return to Paints Creek so they could be together again. If only I had called Laura before the fire accident. I feel so sorry for them. Was it an accident, though? What's going on? Oh! Photo of Dorothy and Trisha years ago. Aha! How do we get the right way up? That's the photograph from the thing, so it was... Ah. Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Let's get that, too. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Can't turn on the light now. Pull the string. Pulls the strings. Um. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're going in here. I did it again. Okay. So neat. Oh, good. So, this is where all the toilet paper goes to, huh? I'm guessing. Ah! I'm guessing. Yeah. Was this the sinky fixed or the one at home? I'd imagine it's the one at home. In her own house. Whoops. Is that on the on the flyby? Nothing! Not even a bar of soap. Is this open? Nope. Bet you there's something in here. No, because it doesn't even open. Hmm. We're getting a lot of information in this episode. That's for sure. Here we go. We're going into the tea room now. Uh, Trisha's room is over there. So this was closer to Dorothy's room. And the security room. And there's the clock. 320. That's the same picture that was in Matthew's room. Mmm. Do we go directly for the clock? Mm. Ooh. Open. Open. Can we smash plates? Just for fun. Just to relieve some tension. <laughs> no. Can we move any of them? Oh. Oh. Can we pick this up? There's one fork. And we're not allowed to examine this one fork. Nope. Can we not close that there? These will be in the way if we leave them open. Uh, I don't know why I think there'd be something under them for some reason. Oh, what have we got here? China. Uh-huh. Oh, we have to have the key. And then we change the time. Ah, oh, yeah. So this is... Ne Wouldn't be that easy, would it? <laughs> I forgot. There's a key. Oops. Do you think the key would be in here anywhere? No, it's probably in Mrs. Roberts' room. We haven't been in Mrs. Roberts' room, have we? Oh, she keeps a stack of negative letters in here, doesn't she? Oh, oh. I keep it an exquisite oh, design. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Vivian Roberts' diary. Oh, Friday, April 28th, 1972. Charles is running for election. I talked to Wilson and Edwards and they have both agreed to support us. 
I don't think they are doing this to solely gain business benefits. Rather, they believe in Charles. Their support will help boost morale for our party. Friday, June 30th. What, what party? Election party. Oh, OK. It's a... Uh, I don't know. Politics. <laughs> oh, Friday, June... Th Why has she got bold writing for the entry dates? June 30th, 1972. It's our anniversary today. Charles invited me to my favourite restaurant. It was a complete surprise and I was so happy I thought he might have forgotten. What's your favourite restaurant? After dinner, we spent the rest of the evening walking along the beach. We talked as if we were teenagers in love. I could not remember the last time I felt this carefree. Wednesday, August 9th, 1972. Magdalene is coming. What should I do? She's always asking when we'll be having kids. I don't think I'm ready yet. Not when I'm still recovering from the miscarriage. Ah... Ah, oh, that's probably why the operation, not long after having your child, maybe there was complications. Oh. Uh, uh, Friday, October 13th, 1972. Edwards called today and tried to push me in favour of a business agreement that we discussed months ago. I rejected his request since it will breach the trust agreement between our companies. I didn't expect him to threaten me by backing out from supporting Charles. If that'll happen, so be it. I would rather lose his support than to make deals with people with no integrity. Good on you. Fair play to you. Fair play to your elbows, as I said. Um, interesting. And we have the key. Go on to the clock. Go on to the clock. Go on to the clock. And we're gonna put key in. I need the mouse to do this one. Place item. Okay, let's get that item. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. That is that's a nice key, alright. Ready? Ooh. It doesn't work! You're joking me. Ah, it doesn't work. Oh, you swines. You knew that. They're so good at this game. They knew that that was not going to work. They did that deliberately. I can only say kudos to you. <laughs> Great move. Building up our expectation. Thing letting us down with a bang. Ooh, what have we got here? Oh, no, that's nothing. It's only a, only a pen. We could have something else. What about drawers? Open. Oh, 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 nothing. More disappointment. Oh, these are the letters. How does it feel to ruin the lives of many? Costed me my job. Can we not pick these up? Cost me my job. God, oh, heartless. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, you, oh, oh, oh dear, oh. Well, these were never mentioned in any police reports, though, were they? Can we not pick these up? No, you, you, get, you get the idea, I suppose. Wow. Why does she keep these? That Mary Martinez. Read. February 17th, 1993. Nelson and Brown investigation. Okay. Investigation on Paints Creek Community Hospital donation funds. Okay. Dear Mrs. Roberts, Vivian Roberts, our latest investigation shows that Dr. Henry Johnson has been embezzling funds from the Roberts Relief Foundation. He's sending a portioned amount to an offshore private account under the name of Jefferson Investments, LLC. Every fifth of the month, an, ex oh, an exact amount of $9,990 is being transferred. Why, why that amount? 
supposedly for the payment of medical supplies and equipment. However, neither the equipment nor the medical supplies could be accounted for. This has been going on for the past 16 months. As of now, the total amount embezzled near is 160,000. Sincerely, Roland Brown. Well. Didn't need to uh, photograph that one either. I can't even remember. I'm, sure, I'm so gross this I can't remember what drawers I'm opening and what not. Is this Taunty again? There you go now. Story of Taunty. Do you think it has any bearing on it? I think it has. Somewhere. Somehow. Hmm. Nope. Down. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So where are we going to get the key for the clock? That kind of reminds me of a photograph that was out in the hall. This picture was in Matthew's bedroom, as far as I remember. Or was it study or something? Just looking at this, Mrs. Hall's house, 10 Town Centre. Wasn't that the same address for Mary M Martinez, was it? I think so. Do you think that that is supposed to be Sophia? Is that her maid's uniform? If it is, she definitely found that more material that was needed. I'm sorry, Thomas. I must have forgot to check inventory. Apparently, we are missing a case of Da Vinci's. Please don't tell Mrs. Roberts. That's the security guard. That's the building I was on about. Ramsey Brown is five foot five. Have you been running through the garden? The Benfield secret safe instructions. Insert the clock key. Set the time. Turn the key. 320. Interesting. That's the same clock that's in the other place. Where do we see that one? Same time. Okay, we're going to 31 Silver Lake Boulevard. 40 Black Pine Road. 10 Town Center Drive. There, same clock. Anyway. Set the town. Oh, I nearly forgot. Trisha's room. Oh. 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 Birdhouse. Bit of lag. Must be the wild wallpaper. Oh, what do we got? Trisha requested that her, all her books be brought to her room in the hospital. Oh. Which was her room in the hospital? Get that open out of there. Okay. Oh, music box? You're joking me. Okay, we'll come back to that. Diary. A key as well. I know what the key's for. November 13th, 1988. Scott's a strange kid. Very quiet. I don't think it's right for the other boys to bully him. And I call him names. And, oh, and call him names. I wonder why Scott's parents didn't want him. This is interesting. January 6th, 1989. I don't like after-school programs, especially ballet. It's difficult and boring. And I hate proper etiquette. What's wrong with being myself? I don't need to be like a mom. Or be like mom. Oh. August 3rd, 1989. I haven't seen Dad for a while. I wonder when he'll be back. Every time I enter the study room, I can smell his tobacco smell. It's the perfect reminder when he's gone for so long. I miss Dad. Mom's always working. She's so busy with other people that she has no time for me. Sometimes I wonder if Mom loves me. Maybe I should call Dorothy mother instead. Hoo hoo hoo. 44871. 
We got a code for the study room. Thank you, Trisha. Oh, we're getting from one room to another in this lot. We're making up more. What do you reckon that little key is? Oops. Um, oh, can we get that? Yeah. Ooh, looks like a cabin key. Well, now. Hmm. It's kind of cute, actually, with a little house in it, isn't it? Rusty. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Okay. Can't open these. No. Oh. Okay. Ooh, drawer. Is this, is this one not open either? Oh, okay. None of them open it? Okay, what's so secretive that's in here? Huh? What do we got? That is open. We're gonna find in it another key. A note. Should we all read? Okay. Dear Trisha, you can always stay at my place when you feel lonely. Dorothy. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. So that's obviously her key then. Looks like a house key. So the key must be, the first one we have must be belonging to the butler. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's pop this one in. The inventory. Let's close this. Oh. What do we got? Another diary. What do we got? That's a nice looking cross. Celtic design. Yeah, it must have belonged to Scott. Why must it have belonged to Scott? His name's that on it. Do you think there's anything specific about it? Like, does it open anything? Is it? Is it just a, a cross? Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. We'll just take a pick. There's nothing we can bring with us anyway. Oh, wait a minute. It's gone. What happened? Do we do we put it in our inventory? We have it. Oh, we do have it. Oh, this is going to be coming. Oh, this is interesting. Metal cross with engravements on it. It's it belonged to Scott. Found next to Trisha's 1994 diary. I'm telling you, there's something more to that than that meets the eye. What's this one say? Uh, can we not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Please hold on to this. Someday I will tell you everything. Scott. Well, now. What's the note with that? Pick this up. Another Robert Trisha Roberts diary. May 22nd, 1994. St. Rita. Mom is so judgmental. She doesn't want me to be near Scott, saying that I should find someone who is of the same class as me. What does that even mean? Who determines what class Scott is in? Did Mom talk to Father Matthew? Is that why Father Matthew also forbade us from seeing each other? Don't they know we're in love? Oh, 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 doody, doody. Hmm. Is she? Is Vivian? Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Okay, on three, let's say it. Vivian Scott's mother. Yes. <laughs> you didn't count to three. July 24th, 1994. Last night, Scott and Father Matthew had a big fight. Father Matthew told him to stop seeing me again. I asked Scott why, but he didn't know the reason. 
feel so miserable. October 10th, 1994. Scott asked if I had a younger brother named Vincent. I didn't. He told me that it was probably just a rumour, but wanted to be sure about it. Who'd spread such a rumour about my family? Hmm. Or maybe... Maybe it's Charles is the father of Scott. Oh, this is very intriguing. <laughs> October 11th, 1994. At dinner, I asked Mom if I ever had a younger brother named Vincent. She stared at me and said no. She then asked where I got the name from. When I said from Scott, she told me dinner's over. I argued with her. She yelled and sent me to my room. Later, I heard her arguing with Dad. October 26, 1994. How could Mom fire Scott? This is so unreasonable. There's no reason at all for firing him. And why can't I see Scott anymore? I love Scott. Dad loves him too. Only Mom hates him. And I don't even know why. November 22nd, 1994. I find it really strange. I knew that today was Scott's day off. So I tried to surprise him at the cabin. However could not find him. I searched everywhere, inside and outside of the cabin. He was nowhere to be found. Just as I was about to leave, he suddenly appeared, as if he had been in here this whole time. This has happened several times now. I'm wondering if there's a hidden room in the cabin that I just don't know about. Well, apparently there's one in the mansion. Are we ever going to find it? Hmm. Excellent. Some great stuff there. It's just more information. Oh, we got an achievement. I didn't see it. More information there that I, I don't even know. Ooh, she has a patio. Hmm. Okay. So much information to me for me to be involved in. Um, nice bath. It's very shallow, though, isn't it? However, the 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 mm, that bit, not so much. <laughs> it's just the rendering. Oh, I was gonna say it looks weird, but the, yeah, the windows up there. Okay, anything in here? Ooh. Oh, 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 no. Is there ever anything in the bathrooms? Aside from finding a key for here, we did pretty good. Downstairs we need to go. Why don't you meet me there in the next episode?